<laughs> Big Ten is probably the best slate. The biggest Woo! game in college football will be probably over by the first halfway through the first quarter. You I think? think. You think? I think half. I, I think you, you're correct in spirit. I'd say I, I, I give it toward the toward the half. Yeah. Ohio State at Penn State and like. I don't want to live dangerously this week. I want to have like kind of relaxing Saturday. I'll have a little out. If this were a big, a juicy Saturday, I'd be back in that Ohio State money line yeah. for sure. Yeah. Are you not? You're saying you're not going to uh, bet on OSU to, to cover? I'm not going to bet on OSU to win. I would maybe put 500 on OSU to win. You're not going to bet on OSU to win? It's just too, it's too much to put up. Okay, so you're not feeling wild. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> I think that you should take OSU to cover. Ooh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, so. and I would rather bet oh, bet twenty five dollars on OSU to cover than bet five hundred on OSU to win. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Penn State, you know, pretty impressive, pretty unimpressive yeah, defensive yeah, no, no. showing last week to give up two two point conversions to lose to Indiana. Yeah, you're right. This is a game where Penn State they're gonna be really fired up. They have an embarrassing. Yeah, I think loss. they'll be very fired up the first half. Very fired could, up. The first yeah, half. but Ohio State's just like yeah, technically they're 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 only their defense is not impenetrable. It's not perfect, but like we're just playing. The, the game is such that there just aren't that many rock solid, elite defenses like that anymore. Yeah. And they're going to be throwing like they don't have without J.K. Dobbins. They're going to be like they're going to be throwing a lot more. Uh, like uh, Teague and Trey Sermon have shown they're they're great at running, but I think they're going to just light them up and a lot of points scored. And I think they're going to cover. And I think what really makes Ohio State a great program is that they're able to get these. Alabama, LSU, Georgia level athletes and mold them into a traditional Big Ten kind of scheme. So watching that Nebraska game, I saw Nebraska just get worn down over yeah. the course of the first half, mm-hmm. and then they were done. It was yep. never. In, I never. It was never in doubt. I went back and watched it, and it never felt like I don't know. They, you know, it never felt like there was going to be an actual upset. Yeah. So this one, Ohio State, for sure, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah, just take them straight up. Avoid that. No, Penn State. It seems like a sucker bet to me. They, yeah, they've adjusted the line on this one. Okay. Um, pr- four points. Shit, really? Yeah, they went from minus eight and a half to minus twelve and a half. Not related to any injuries. Mm-hmm. So, in just given the point differentials, you're seeing the Clemson Alabama margins. OSU has to keep up with that. Yeah. They've uh, they got the highest expectations of any team this year. It feels like. 